dear friends in today's tutorial we are going to learn sciography of plane in different condition so without any further delay let's get started if you are new to this topic you can watch my previous video about introduction to sciography sciography of line and sciography of point the link is given in the description box. Let's start with example number 1. A regular pentagon ABCDE of side 3 cm is resting on its one of its edges CD on HP. That edge is perpendicular to VP and a point D is 3 cm away from VP. Find the shadow profile of plane while plane making an angle of 30 degree with HP. Now take a look into 3D representation. We can see that shadow of plane is starting from its base and falling on HP. Now draw the basic orthographic projection as per the given condition and now it's time to draw sciography. Let's start with point A. Draw a light ray on point A in plan and extend it to the ground line. Now draw a light ray on point A in elevation and extend it to the ground line. In this particular case, light ray of point A in elevation strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in horizontal plane. And wherever it strikes the light ray of point A in elevation, that point is the shadow of point A, that is A dash. Now repeat the same process for point B and E. Shadow of plane will start from point C and D as it rests on HP. So join the point D, E dash, A dash, B dash and C to get the final profile of shadow and hatch it with light intensity line. As you can see that some part of shadow is hiding behind the plane, so there is no need to hatch that portion. Example 2 A regular pentagon ABCDE is resting on one of its edge CD. The plane is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP and 6 cm away from VP. Find the shadow profile of the plane. Now take a look into 3D representation. We can see that shadow of plane is starting from its base and falling on HP. Now draw the basic orthographic projection as per the given condition and now it's time to draw sciography. Let's start with point A. Draw a light ray on point A in plan and extend it to the ground line. Now draw a light ray on point A in elevation and extend it to the ground line. In this particular case, light ray of point A in elevation strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in horizontal plane and wherever it strikes the light ray of point A in elevation that point is the shadow of point A that is A dash. Now repeat the same process for point B and E. Shadow of plane will start from point C and D as it rests on HP. So join the point D, E dash, A dash, B dash and C to get the final profile of shadow and hatch it with light intensity line. A semicircular plane of dia 6 cm is 5 cm above the HP and diameter of plane is lies in the VP. Find the shadow profile of semicircular plane. First of all take a look into 3D representation. We can see that the shadow profile is curvilinear in nature and starting from the straight line of the semicircle. Now complete the basic orthographic projection and divide the curve into 8 equal parts and name them 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can increase or decrease the number of part as per your convenience. You can increase the number of division of curve to get the much better result. Now it's time to draw sciography of semicircular plane. So draw a light ray in plan on point 1 and extend it to the ground line and draw a light ray on point 1 in elevation and extend it to the ground line. In this particular case, the light ray of point 1 in plan strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in vertical plane and wherever it intersects the light ray of point 1 in elevation, that point will be the shadow of point 1 that is 1 dash. Now repeat the same process for point 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7.
and join the point 0, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash and 8 with a curvy linear line to get the final shadow profile of semicircular plane and hatch it with the light intensity line. A rectangular plane ABCD of size 5 cm by 3 cm perpendicular to HP resting on HP with 5 cm side and 2 cm away from VP. Find the shadow profile of rectangle. Take a look into 3D representation. We can see that the shadow is falling on HP and VP both and some portion of this shadow is hiding behind the elevation of the plane. Now draw the basic orthographic projection as per the given condition and now it's time to draw psiographic. Let's start with point A. Draw a light ray on point A in plan and extend it to the ground line. Now draw a light ray on point A in elevation and extend it to the ground line. In this particular case, light ray of point A in plan strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in vertical plane and wherever it intersects the light ray of point A in elevation, that point will be the shadow of point A that is A dash. Now repeat the same process for point B and join the point D, A dash, B dash, C in the direction of light rays to get the final shadow profile of the plane and hatch it with the light intensity line. As you can see that some part of shadow is hiding behind the plane so there is no need to hatch that portion. So it's all about the psychography of plane. I hope it will be helpful to you.